I love a good story in footy. Tommy Real Papley. Well, well, yeah, some more than others. I love these, the family connection to a footy club and getting the whether. It, I mean, we know the father and son, but grandfather, grandson in this case with Tommy Papley being given the opportunity to study stuff at the Sydney Swans via the rookie draft. Horse, uh, John Long, the coach, came up to me and said, um, "Yeah, yeah, playing this week." And that was pretty, uh, pretty good feeling. Um, knowing that your dream's going to come true is uh, obviously you can't explain it really. My earliest memories of Tom, he had a cricket bat or a football in his hand. His grandmother would get out on the concrete driveway and play cricket with him. Tom would wanted to commentate a game with Tom Papley getting this and Tom Papley doing that, and uh, I think she enjoyed it as much as he did. He was eight. Uh, his first game and up here under 13s was your first junior age so it was a fair gap and we weren't really keen on him playing. I said and he was getting pretty upset that he couldn't play and I said if you can kick both feet by the time the footy season starts you can play under 13. So uh, he went out the back for three hours and came in crying. I thought he'd been bitten by a snake, but no, his left foot was red raw, so we let him play. Started playing when I was about three or four, just at Oz down at Bunyip. I always used to watch uh, my dad play. Um, since oh, since I was one, I just used to go there every week, every every um, training, Tuesday, Thursday, I'd be coaching the seniors, and I'd just go down there, and I'd just be a country boy and living at home, and just loved the uh, Bunyip footy club. It was always so undersized. He was always playing three or four years out of his age group. I know you got a, a good link with your grandfather. Has he been on the phone since uh, the nomination? Uh, yeah, he gave me a quick call um, this morning. Uh, he's obviously pretty proud, but uh, he's just he's just happy I'm playing and Is everything's he... going well. Uh, I've watched Tom's replay from last Saturday about three times already. We planned our year around following the NEFL. Uh, Mum and Dad planned a holiday in Darwin, and it still could happen yet, yeah? one week at a time. but. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, obviously he's living the dream, we are too. I got a phone call from Kinnear Beetson the day after he was drafted. And Kinnear said to me, I just want to impress upon you, Max, that um, we've drafted Tom because of his ability. We haven't drafted him, drafted him because of any family links. I said, well, that's great, because that's what I said to him last night. Uh, when he was drafted yesterday, I said to him last night, it's got nothing to do with your family history, mate. They drafted you because you think, they think you're good enough. Whether you're a rookie or whether you're number one, draft pick, you've got the same opportunity, you're with a league club, up to you now mate.